Hello friends, today we are going to discuss splitting of d orbitals in various complexes. In this, we will be discussing shapes of d orbitals, splitting of d orbitals in octahedral complex, splitting of d orbitals in tetrahedral complex, a splitting of d orbitals in a square planar complex, a splitting of d orbitals in a square pyramidal complex, and a splitting of d orbitals in trigonal bipyramidal complex. Before going into details of a splitting of d orbitals in different environment, we will first discuss the shapes of different d orbitals. We know that there are five types of d orbitals dxy, dxz, dyz, dx square minus y square and dz square. dxy, dxz and dyz are lying between the axes while dx square minus y square and dz square are lying along the axis. Splitting of d orbitals in octahedral complex. The general structure of an octahedral metal complex can be represented by this formula. These are the three axes x, y and z. When the metal is free, all the five d orbitals have the same energy and are termed as degenerate. When the ligand approach towards the metal ion, for the formation of metal complex, the energy of d orbitals is raised due to repulsive interaction between the negative charge or negative pole of ligands and the electrons on the metal. If the ligand environment is spherical, which is a hypothetical case, the energy of the 5d orbitals will be raised to the same extent but they will still remain degenerate. In an octahedral ligand environment, ligand approach the metal along x, y and z axis. We know that dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals are lying along the axis. So, due to higher repulsive interaction, their energy will be higher than the energy of d orbitals in the spherical field. dxy, dyz and dxz are lying in between the axis. So, due to lesser repulsive interaction, their energy will be less than the energy of d orbitals in the spherical field. The set of d x square minus y square and dz square orbitals is called eg while the set of dxy, dyz and dxz is called t to g. The difference between the energy of T to G and E G is denoted by delta O or 10 dQ O. The difference between the energy of E G and energy of D orbital in the spherical field is plus 0 0.6 delta O or plus 6 dQO and 
the difference between the energy of T2G and the energy of D orbitals in the spherical field is minus 0 0.4 delta O or minus 4 dqo. Splitting of D orbitals in tetrahedral complex. A regular tetrahedron is related to a cube. The central metal of the tetrahedral complex is at the center of the cube and the four ligands occupy alternate corners of the cube. These are x, y and z axis pointing to the centers of the faces of the cube. When the metal is free, all the 5 T orbitals have the same energy and are termed as degenerate. If the ligand environment is spherical, the energy of 5D orbitals will be raised to the same extent, but they, they will still remain degenerate. We know that dx square minus y square and dz square are lying along the axis, while dxy, dxz and dyz are lying in between the axis. In tetrahedral ligand environment, neither dxy, dxz and dyz nor dx square minus y square and dz square are directly in the direction of the ligand, but dxy, dxz and dyz are nearer to the direction of the ligand than dx square minus y square and dz square. So, the energy of dxy, dxz and dyz becomes higher than the energy in the spherical environment and the energy of dx square minus y square and dz square becomes less than the energy in the spherical environment. Thus, the d orbital splitting in the tetrahedral environment is just opposite to the d orbital splitting in the octahedral environment. The set of dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals is called eg, while the set of dxy, dyz and dxz is called t2g. The difference between the energy of T2G and EG is denoted by delta T or 10 dqt. The difference between the energy of EG and the energy of D orbitals in the spherical field is minus 0.6 delta T or minus 6 dqt. And the difference between the energy of T2G and the energy of D orbitals in the spherical field environment is plus 0 0.4 delta T or plus 4 dQt. Splitting of D orbitals in a square planar complex. Suppose we have an octahedral complex. If we remove the two ligands from the z-axis, it would result a square planar complex. The d orbital splitting diagram for the square planar complex can thus be derived from the d orbital splitting diagram of an octahedral complex. This is the d orbital splitting diagram of an octahedral complex. As ligands move away from the z-axis, d orbitals with a z component will fall in energy. The dz square orbital falls the most as its electrons are concentrated in the lobe along the z-axis. The dxz and dyz orbitals also drop in energy but not as much. The dx square minus y square 
and dxy orbitals increase in energy because the ligands in the square plane move a little closer to the metal this is the d orbital splitting pattern in a square planar complex the energy of d x square minus y square d x y d z square and d x z and d y z respectively are 1.23 delta o 0.23 delta o minus 0.43 delta o and minus 0.51 delta o the difference between the energy of dx square minus y square and dxy is equal to the delta o a splitting of d orbitals in a square pyramidal complex suppose we have an octahedral complex if we remove one ligand from the z axis it would result a square pyramidal complex so like a square planar complex the d orbital splitting diagram of a square pyramidal complex can be derived from the d orbital splitting diagram of an octahedral complex this is the d orbital splitting diagram of an octahedral complex as one ligand is removed from the z axis d orbitals with a z component will fall in energy the d z square d x z and d y z drop in energy but not as much the d x square minus y square and d x y orbitals increase in energy because the ligands in the square plane move a little closer to the metal so this is the d orbital is splitting diagram of an a square pyramidal complex a splitting of d orbitals in trigonal bipyramidal complex this is a general structure of a trigonal bipyramidal complex in this the dz square orbital is in the direction of ligand so its energy will be higher than the average energy in the spherical environment there are two more sets of orbitals d x y and d x square minus y square and d x z and d y z lying below the average energy in the spherical environment